Stump's just rolled up into the saw over there. Got my shoes on now. I was bitching about that earlier. It's fucked up in America. Then when a crazy shows up, your first thoughts, get the police and document and shit, not put on your shoes in case you have to stand the fuck up in a, in a theological. People are lucky I don't sleep in combat boots. There you are. <clears throat> All right, so there's several things going on here. First, I'd like to report disturbance of the peace. Before the man even saw me, he was screaming at the top of his lungs about people killing and eating children. And that was causing a public disturbance at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay, then he came into sight of me, and he saw me. Now he's got a restraining order against me, because we fought b brutal combat because over... Because beat him with a bat. Because he said he was going to cut me to ribbons for being a faggot. Because he said he was going to... Um, that I was contaminating Colton. the pussy pool with my faggot molecules. Colton, relax, sit down. So I have a seat over here. Just over here. All right. You know you're not supposed to sleep over here in the park at night, right? No, bullshit. There's a the pandemic on and the, you're allowed you're to sleep in the park. No, no you're not. He you're not. sleeps in the Dazen park and he's home. using... All right. All right. Where's, where's uh, Dazen at? He went that way. And since since he we called the cops, I heard him yelling. He came back and was close enough to hear him yelling. But I didn't catch sight of him. No, dude, this uh, power is coming right now. I'll go, I'll go contact him so I can get his horsepower. So, um, just uh, power over here. Just listen to what my partner is telling you, Colton. Mm. Stay here with him. This is a public disturbance. Separate this restraining order shit. I heard him screaming about eating children at seven o'clock in the morning, and it's caused a public disturbance. It has upset me. I'm tired of talking to my psychiatrist about this. Him screaming about eating children at 7 o'clock in the morning has upset me. That's a public disturbance. Also, he's a 5150. He's off his fucking rocker. Why'd you wait to call then until 8 o'clock? I called live. I called. I, I turned on the camera to record him and then announced as I was shutting off the camera, I'm calling him on right now. Did so and then returned to the recording. Just do me a favor. Come over here. <laughs> I think, he, can I think uh, he came in here, wanna, stopped, he, he came and approached me. That's one thing we're talking about where Dayson is and going over the so chronology of. I'm just making a note in my vlog how our fucked up nation, there's a dude who's dangerous. And I gotta worry about getting my camera out and making video and calling the cops before I put my shoes on. Now, logic would indicate that I wanna put my shoes on in case I have to get the fuck up. So, I feel disadvantaged just from what I have to go through to document things and get a hold of you guys. I like to be wearing shoes when I fight. You like to be wearing shoes when you fight, so you're planning on getting in an altercation today, is what you're telling me, Colton? I'm planning on defending myself if the man violently guys, attacks guys, me you again. You have a violent history of fighting each other, so why do you guys keep hanging out at the same area? I live here, okay? You, know you don't live here. You cannot live in a park. I live in this community. That's fine, but you do not live in this park. You do not own this park. You don't pay property taxes here. This is not your. No, oh, but I got as much right to be here as he does. Okay. He's the disturbance. He's the fucking problem. He has a restraining order against you. Do you right. You have a right to be within a hundred yards of him. But he can't come into my area and enforce me out. This and he just did my that. Area. We're not private animals in a pack here talking about this is my area. It's not Wherever my person is, he can't come find me and then bring the cops to where I am and remove me from where I already was. Do you have any doubt that I was already here when he showed up? You know what the video's gonna show, right? It doesn't matter, I'm just trying to get this point across that this is not 
you know, tribal war here where this is your territory. I didn't, I meant because he's near my person. He came to me while he found a poor man sleeping and now he's threatening them and he was already calling the cops on me when I was calling the cops on him. Okay. okay. Well, we'll, we'll, my partner will talk to him. We'll figure out what's going on. And we'll Why doesn't he stop running around at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning causing issues? I'm sick and tired of him fucking running my sleep pattern. I don't get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Now I hear him. He's a violent bigot. He's dangerous. Castro wants to run his mouth about me fucking beating him with the bat. The dude said he was going to kill me for being a faggot and cut me with to ribbons and a knife. Okay, well, that's already closed with the courts. The courts ruled against you in that. That's really? What you want us to do? How the courts ruled against me? They dropped everything. They didn't drop it. There's incriminating evidence of you beating him with a baseball bat that you put on your own YouTube. And I'm claiming self defense, as it obviously was. But you served time in jail. Uh, pre-trial detention. Okay. Look, because of the way the fuck shit with the uh, public defender worked out, I'm not even sure what happened with the resolution of the case because they did a dry run on me the day they kicked me. Okay, I don't even know what, it, but the the plea deal offer was misdemeanor assault, no court costs, no probation, no fine. Okay, okay. meaning they reduced it to the absolute minimum because they had no fucking case. They kicked me out. I was pushing for trial by jury. Okay, so last I was the last thing I did was speak up in court and tell the judge, I'm too poor not to take the obviously advantageous plea deal. I guess I have to. And he said, Well, I'm not going to extort you. I'm not going to uh, make you take a plea deal for um, something you didn't do. And sent me back to jail. I was supposed to get out that day. I spent six more days, and then did a dry run and got out. So I don't know exactly what happened, but at minimum they dropped everything. Okay, well, you're trying to stand on your weak ass bullshit in the case. Look at the case. Look at the facts of the case. Look at the disposition. Okay, it's not against me. You, this you, violent you, criminal you hear, was trying to kill me. You hear me yelling at you the way you're yelling at me. Okay, so if we're going to talk, talk. Okay, well, I woke up to this man screaming about killing and eating children. Okay. Let's focus on that for a minute. That's a public disturbance. Someone screaming about killing and eating children at 7 o'clock in the morning is a disturbance. I've been talking to my psychiatrist. I'm on medication for sexual dysfunction now because the mental health problems caused by these bullies and the horrible, horrible things they say. I don't want to deal before 8 o'clock in the morning with the adrenochrome bullshit, with the QAnon conspiracy theory. I don't want to deal with it. But he walks around screaming about these horrible, horrible things and it's causing a public disturbance i wanted to issue, i think i'm to that that's a case right there you could fucking take him you could arrest him for that you could 5150 him and get him some help like he needs because he's off his fucking rotter, rocker and he thinks that he that the QAnon people are talking directly to him and giving him special instructions giving him insider information about me like i'm Really, Richard Crown Megan's all a pedophile, and I changed my name when I moved from Kentucky to flee the FBI. And I am a repeat offender, child molester, and be going, doing God's work to kill me. Okay, this dude's fucking crazy. All right. Are you but, scared of him? Yes. You have a sustained fear for that guy. Yes. So why don't you leave, man? I he wasn't I here. When I went to bed, I was by myself. He showed up at 7.49 a.m. When I, I touched the clock on my okay, during the like, vlog, it was 7.49 a.m. I get it. I can see you. You you look like you're in fear. You're shaking. I see I'm cold. I'm physically distraught. cold. I, I jumped out of here. bed. I was in a, under the warm blankets a minute ago. Exothermic. Your body senses you're losing heat energy. I'm shivering because I'm yeah. cold. Fucking, this is my fucking wake-up call. Mm -hmm. I got reasons I live around here. My storage is right the fuck there. I know. Okay, I got to go when I get up. Who else lives here? There's more people, right? There's a couple? I've seen people around, but... Yeah. You know, I actually know a couple of his friends. I've seen them down here only like a handful of times. But the guy... Guy and a gal? Yeah, a guy and a gal, and they've attacked me. The dude, I had to beat his ass right here in the gazebo... And you guys showed up. Dason called him, and I was like yelling in the background on the speakerphone, like, "Yeah, come on, he's beat his friend's ass." And you it hadn't finished uploading and processing YouTube, and all got here. It's like we're not waiting and left. But he violently assaulted me. And for the sake, he, he's the one that threatened me up at Ralph's. Okay, 
Mm. Okay, and then he, he talked about me needing to find God. Okay, and lied for Dason and covered up for Dason. Okay, he said he turned his back on me when I whacked him with the bat. And I made a video where I edited in where the dude was saying that, and then I cut to the scene of me whacking Dason with the bat, show how he was lying. Okay, so he's no, Dason was coming right the fuck at me. He tried me, he tried to scare me too. He was face to face, chest to chest with me, and he flexed up on me and, and darted at me. Had to take him down. He was heavily armed, said he was gonna kill me, said he was gonna cut me to ribbons, said he was gonna torture me. He's into it, he keeps, you know, even before me and Dason had a falling out, I was sick and tired of hearing about the adrenochrome. He kept, at, he, when he found out I was a science nerd, he kept asking these peculiar questions like, what does adrenochrome taste like? How long does it last? Why are the rich people hoarding it? With this puzzled look on his face, like he's missing out on killing and eating babies. He's fucking stupid. And he's being manipulated by these QAnon people. And I've yeah, got... He has a YouTube channel, okay? Oh, via the internet. His channel, here, let me tell you how hard this is. Tricone B is his channel, you know that, right? I, am I honest with you, man? I don't, I don't dig into his... Well, we have major problems, and I'm complaining about him being crazy, so you might want to look at his, I don't know, published broadcast of him speaking to the camera as a monologue. A good point. Go to his channel, Tricone D. Go to his first video. Look at the first comment. So my stalker's talk to him about me, and it says flat out, yeah, you're right about Colton Wood, 100% he's exactly what you think it is, meaning the Q of, uh, monster, whatever. Go to that link, go to that profile saying that to him. First video on that profile, mm -hmm. child snuff porn, killing little girls, horrible torture. Horrible. The thing, yeah, the things these people are into will make you sick. That's how hard it is. His channel, first video, first comment. Mm -hmm. The commentator, first video, child snuff porn. That, that's how easy it is when you when you do research in these things. Go watch how just start as someone you'll you'll hear I can put in the theme song over top of this. The one talking about pretty little girl, I smell her hair. It's fucking sick. Why? Because these things, these guys have a thing about... And get that there's other... The, the, the people he deals with are also Nazi white supremacists. They deal with a lot of whips and chains and heavy metal music. The, one of them is a published author talking about raising the Fourth Reich. Veronica Clark's her name. He's a, she's a famous pro-Nazi. Uh, who's the person that writes the propaganda? I know you call them Nazis when they're fucking read the propaganda. What do you call the ones that write the propaganda? Anyway, them, they're, you know, they're, there's a published book on Amazon you can get with me in there talking about these people. It's a whole book with citations and reference, and, and that's not for me. That's just one of their other victims. Like yeah. Yeah, a bunch of couch potato bullies. Uh, Lou Stefano, one of my main bullies, one of the people talking directly to Jason here, he's a security guard and he works overnight. He's out here in Riverside. So he sits on his phone at hold 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt you, dude. So I'm the handling officer, I'm the handling officer on this call right now, and I'm going to make the determination of what's going to happen today. So can you please tell me what happened? Today? Okay, I'm asleep. I hear someone screaming and yelling about killing and eating babies and I come to consciousness. That I can clearly hear it's Dason screaming about killing babies coming up the street out there. He comes in the park here. He sees me. I hear him start talking about, oh, look at this motherfucker. He, this faggot and stuff. We're going to run him out of the park. And he gets on his phone. Uh, he makes a quick video about me or says he is. And then calls 911. I get the camera on. Get document that section. And as he's walking away, he gets up there. As soon as he's out of sight, I shut off call 911, announcing I'm going to do this. Call 911, call you guys, finish the call with 911, come back, get the camera back on. And he went out of sight. And then I, I while I was talking to 911, I couldn't hear him. And after I was talking to 911, like, I could hear him start yelling up there again without catching sight of him again. Right. And you guys got here. Well, all right. So let me ask you this. You obviously know. Uh, I saw that you assaulted him with the bat up over here, up in the top of the park, right? Yeah. Do you know that he spends time in this park? Sometimes he does. Yeah. Okay. I live I in this community. Know. He drives, so he gets do around. You, He's got that blue know, uh, do you know, SUV thingy. Yeah. Do you know that you have a restraining order? I have a restraining order. So you're the restraining party. You're not allowed to. But if I'm already here and he comes into my area, do well, I'm know, literally do asleep. you know that this part, he, he stays in this part? No, he, he doesn't just, stay in yeah, this part. Yes, you told me that. 
He doesn't he stay that. overnight here because he's scared of the mountain lions and shit. All right. So but we well, see him around. He stays up there. He's the... being served with a restraining order. Yeah. Okay. What is the restraining order states? I can't approach him. I'm not approaching him. I was unconscious. He approached me. Okay. So you need to stay away. I didn't approach him. I'm where I was last night. Okay. So you're in this park right now. You are... And he yeah, came... You know, you know that he's... This part, he right? wasn't here when I got here. Okay. It was like 11 p.m. last night. All right. Did you exchange any words with him today? I got the whole thing on video. Okay. Can you show me the video? Yep. Yeah.